are back, and the don't worry. The last video for the night. The last video for the night, and Jared, it has, you know what, we, when we, this stuff came out, he's like, we're going to do some box opening videos. I'm like, oh yeah, for sure, we're going to do it. He's only bought one of these ships, and he has been itching to open it. A so, large base ship with cloak. <laughs> I so, love large base ships. So he, he's been itching to open this box because it's the only one he's bought. And um, so he's extremely excited to get into it. As you can try to see, it's getting him a tough time because he's so excited he's not focusing on it. No, I just want the damn thing open. And we got we got uh, Thursday, Bastions. Bastions tournament for and this, the Bastions tournament on Thursday will have all the, will have all the release of the new factions. Yeah. So it's going to be interesting to see who's going to be fighting what. Well, you know what? I'm going to be flying <laughs> again. A lot of plastic for one little ship. Well, it's not that little anymore, actually, it's but it's still a lot of plastic. Seriously. Watch them. Watch them. so excited about it. They care for those things to move. They do not. Oh, crap, they do. Oh, look at that. That is looking pretty cool. And then it opens up. You know, I just want clothes like that all the time. Yes. That looks awesome. Yeah, it does. So, piece of, piece of, piece of wonderfulness. I'm going to get rid of that piece of cardboard crap. That's... Uh, Is this a gate? Are they? It's all big pigs, right? Yep. Because it's a large base. Yeah. I didn't know. I did not know that those would move inside and out. This has just got cooler. They don't show it in the movie. I don't really care. It's awesome. So. If you're wondering what that third voice is, that's Jared's son. That's my son, Jeremy. Hello. Yeah, I'd have him say hi, but he has an issue where he doesn't wear shirts. <laughs> what? I'm lazy. Yeah. <gasps> this comes with the DRK probe droid. Woohoo! No doubt. What's that? What's that? Don't know. Yeah, yeah those are those are the probe droids. <laughs> probe droids. Oh, they're awesome. The DRK probe droid. Uh, system phase, the DRK-1 probe droid, uh, droid's controlling player may choose a two straight or soft two bit turn for it. Uh, template and set, oh, uh, yeah, I can, I can use any of the guides for that movement. So it sits uh -oh. there and I'm like, I'm going to move it too straight uh -oh. from here or from here or from there. <laughs> it's a, just so you know, it's a five, it's like it's a five sided. diamond sheep. It's five yeah. sheep. Let's see. Uh, the player then relocates the remote, placing the DRK at the other end of the template. It can be placed overlapping an object this way as well. But you also, you know what the DRKs are, right? They're like Darth Maul's little search it's, droids. Yeah. If the DRK one overlaps a ship, Use the position marker to denote the ship's position, then place the ship on top of the remote. Activation, engagement, and end phase does nothing. Uh, while a ship locks an object or jams an enemy ship, it may measure range from a friendly DRK-1 probe droid. So I can use those to my advantage. So there's what the DRK... I know it's kind of hard to see it in the video, yeah. but that's what it looks like. Well, put it there's no. um, there's it's about one, the size two, of a three, dial. four, five different sides to the dial. So it's kind of like a... What is it, an octagon? Yeah. It's an octagon. Well, and so what he's saying is, is he could take the two straight or two softs in any one of these slots to be able to move in however direction he that's wants. That's right. And so, with, with this... I can if I want to target lock somebody or jam somebody instead of measuring from my ship. Measure from that. I can measure from this, which is pretty sweet. The other nice thing about these things is after an enemy ship executes a maneuver that causes it to overlap uh, a DRK-1 probe droid, the ship's controller rolls one attack die. On a focus result. Uh, the DRK probe droid suffers one damage. So you got to fly into it to get rid of it. 
That's pr I, and let's see, it, well, it only has one hull, but it has three, three defense dice. Let's see. Let's so, see. the dial on this thing, on this Sith Infiltrator, looks pretty good. Holy smokes. Yeah. yeah. It has, it has all the threes for you. It has all the twos and a... The cards. A, uh, what... With, uh, the sloop. Yeah. The two sloop. Yeah, it has two two on a large scale ship, yeah. <laughs> it has a sloop on it on a on a two yeah. and it has two hearts and it has all the two soft and the two straight. Yeah, and so blue. you have every single two yeah. that is in the game. And um this is probably one of the only ships that I think that I've seen in 2.0 that has the straight one, the soft ones, and the hard ones. I think it's the only ship. I'm not too sure, don't quote me on that. But I think it's the only ship I've seen that has those. And it has a 5K turn. It has a 5K turn. A large base ship with a 5K turn. So it can match It can match the Delta 7. It can match the Delta 7. Yeah, that's a pretty sweet dial. Ah. Show but, us the man. Oh, not, pilot skill 5, Darth Maul. What's in that one? After you perform an attack, you may spend two of your... Uh, Force? Yeah, two of your force. He's a three force. He's a three force. What you, can is spend, with this? you can spend two to perform a bonus primary attack against a different target. If your if your first attack missed, you may perform that bonus primary attack against the same target instead. So basically he uses his uh, his magic to get two attacks a turn. Kind of like a Dangar. And it's also well, kind of like, it's also like a Darth Vader. Yeah. And they, these ships, I mean, these ships only have one defense die, but they, they roll three, and they've got six shields. So these have four. Yeah. Each one. Six hull and four shields. That's ten. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So he can take a couple hits before he's off the board. What's that? That's pilot? comparably matched to what ship has uh, the Decimator? Is the, no, Decimator has no hull. No yeah, I'd have to look. I think it's the ghost. Count Dooku, another oh, another is. fan favorite. He's only pilot skill three. I think he should be four, or at least as as high as Darth Maul. But anyways, they made him pilot skill three. After you defend, if the attacker is in your firing arc, you may spend one of your uh, of your magic there to remove one of your blue or red tokens. So if you've got a red, like a stress or, well, not stress, what's the new thing? Strife. If they got strife or you've got target lock on you or whatever, you can get rid of it. After you perform an attack that hits, you may spend one to perform an action. One force? Yeah. So he, he gets to choose how, he, he gets three force. So he can either, he can spend a force to uh, perform an action. And this does have a barrel roll, a red barrel roll. So if you're in a, if somebody shoots you and his partners are a good line, you can use the barrel roll to maybe get out of a bad situation. But I mean, I don't know. I Is this barrel roll red? It's red. So yeah. you get stressed. So it's but, just like, uh... but it's still good. <clears throat> you got a, you got a, a three pilot, zero dash six six. Uh, yeah, after you defend, you may spend one calculate token to perform an action. So again, with uh, the other cards in the last set that let you keep your calculates. So that's a given. I mean, these guys for the action bar for this thing is it huge. You got calculate, you got target lock, and a red barrel roll. So I'm not screaming a lot of choices, but uh, it's still there. Two pilot skill, dark courier. Just your generic pilot. And then you get two cards for the DRK-1 probe droid. So they have three defense and one haul. So if you fly over it, you get it gives it a damage, but I've got three dice to make that damage not happen. Hmm. That's not too bad. While a friendly, yeah, while a friendly ship, so you can lock onto things after an enemy overlaps, uh, they roll the attack die. And on a focus result, you, you suffer damage. It's not on a hit result. It's on a focus. And so it just gives you a couple more things to fly around and be goofy. It's pretty good. Yeah.
Brilliant Invasion. So we saw that over on yours. Uh, this one I liked. Hate. Hate. After Which has been the biggest talking card for all of the new, for everything. Because <laughs> it's, it's, a it's card. generic. It's, no, it's dark side. Oh, is it just, yeah, it's just. It's, any, it's the dark side. So it, anybody can use it on the dark side. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. After you suffer one or more damage, recover that many force tokens. Darth Vader would love this. <laughs> that's exactly why they put it on him. Yeah. There's a number of player characters that love that. I think it's a great card. <laughs> it's Predict very popular. Predictive shot. Yeah, it's, that's what we've already had. Yeah, you got that on, on your side. <clears throat> Advanced protons, blah, ions, DRK probe droids. They are a bomb. They do have a cost. They're only for separatists. Uh, during the end phase, you may spend one energy to drop or launch one of these. Uh, when you drop or launch them, you use a three-speed template. And, uh, yeah, you only get the two. Device. Yeah, yeah, it's a device. You only get two energy. That's right. You only get two of the cards. And you put them on the board to fly around and just be a pain in the ass. Heavy laser cannon, ion cannon, tractor beam, which is actually how I set up mine on my bill. Chancellor Palpatine. Yeah, I let you take all the fun out of that one. I, <laughs> I, did, I had no idea that that faction got Palpatine. <sighs> Anyways. Count Dooku. Which you did not get. No. Nope. Which actually kind of surprised me because he actually is Jedi too, but... So he actually adds plus one force tokens? Yeah. So what happens is, is he gets onto a crew. He's a crew. So yeah. uh, when he's added to a ship, he adds one force to that ship for its use. Yeah, but it's also a regenerating force. Correct. So each turn you get two forces So at the end of, of every turn you get to... Re you get yeah. two instead of one, which I think... With the way Force is going in this game. Yeah, that's nice. Before a ship at range 0 to 2 rolls attack or defense dice, if all of your Force are active, you may spend one Force and name a result. If the roll does not contain the named result, the ship must change one die to that result. <clears throat> Who's that sound like? Think about it. In 1.0, everybody was annoyed because that particular die would, could be re-rolled anywhere on the table for Imperials. Why, why is that, uh, that, was, that wasn't... That was old Palpatine. Was it old Palpatine? Yeah, where you could just say, I, I, what, whatever, and roll the die and get it. So, uh, that's interesting because uh, it, 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 it's, they've got it to range 2. But it's an ability you can use all through the game. I think that's but pretty cool. It's it's cool, but it's it's range is different. It we're probably range, tables anywhere. Yeah. So it has a range this time, range restriction. And because you have to have all of your force active, you can only use it once. Because once you've used it one force in that turn, they're not active. So it's really right. limited to one per turn. But still But it's only his force for that action. <clears throat> not the force of the ship. No, it would say all of your force well, are all active. All of it. So all of the ship has to be active for you to use it. Yeah. So you you got to have. A so if you have force one, ship. if you have one of your force down, you can't use that card. Exactly. So, but it's whether it's the old card. Palpatine card or not, it has been. I think it is highly. Um, it's been re revised. It's been revised. Now, if you could find a way. To when you lose a force, get a force. You mean like Luke? Yeah, but find a way to do it in this faction, then you could actually use them once or twice in a game or a turn. Maybe. Not yeah. sure it'll be something. So, anyways, I think he's a neat card. And my other thing that I like, another General Grievous, because I like General Grievous. The pilot card, right? Yeah. yeah. Or the crew card? The crew card. How can you not like somebody if you can stick out four arms and spin four lifesavers at the same time? In reality, he'd cut that bugger down out on the pl flight field, but anyways, that's Hollywood. <laughs> the o Star Wars always kills the good villains, or uh, what am I saying, villains, the good characters in the dopiest of ways. 
General well, Grievous got taken out really silly. Boba Fett gets knocked over and fla- falls into a giant plant. Like, what the hell? Anyways, <laughs> I'm not going to go any further on that. Uh, but you know, yes! you, you know, it's a good character in Star Wars when it gets taken out in a really pathetic way. I'm actually changing my Rebels chat to Republic! Oh, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, General Grievous comes with one energy. While you defend, after the neutralized result step, if there are two or more hit or uh, crit results, you may spend one energy to cancel one hit or one crit result. And then after a friendly ship is, oh, after a friendly ship is destroyed, you recover the one energy. Well, they are droids. Yeah, so. but, but when I play, my ships don't get destroyed, so I never get to recover the. Yeah, they do. <laughs> you know, if you're playing droids, they'll get destroyed a lot more. Yeah, actually, with the yeah, I guess with the droids, they'd be popping so off like it would party. probably be, you know, help. Help you yeah. with it. So, not, novice uh, technician, which is normal. Percent of goal, normal. Season navigator, K two B four. A new droid. Uh, oh, is that that funky droid? That's the oh. commander. When a friendly ship at or when a friendly ship at range zero to three defends, it may spend one calculate token. If it does, add one evade result. Oh, okay. Yeah. Unless the attacker chooses to gain one string token. So that's a new card. Yep. But that's just as pain in the ass. It's I pretty, like, it's I like that card. Yeah, there's a couple of them there. Yeah, and then you get a title upgrade for the for the for the ship itself, which gives him gives cloak, in cloak red and jam. and jam. So, and during when you first set up, after you place uh, uh, after the, let's see, after the place forces, you may cloak. So as soon as you put him down, you can cloak you, right you can cloak him. I mean, I'm ass- going to assume that he'll be stressed right away too. But there's enough room on that dial to get rid of stress on turn one. Uh, after you decloak, this this I like. After you decloak, you may choose an enemy ship in your bullseye. If you do, it gains one jam token. So when this ship comes out of the cloak, if he's in the bullseye, if it's or- in the bullseye. Which, I mean, because I played Bullseyes in 1.0, I'm very comfortable with making Bullseyes work. As soon as he comes out, he's going to jam. So that you're flying towards the guy, he's done his move, he goes, oh, I'm going to have a great shot at your big ship. You fly your ship, you do your cloak, bam, he's in your Bullseye, whatever you put on that ship goes away, and he's naked to attack you. I love it. What's I on love the other it. side of it, though. So the other side, or is it only one side card? Uh, that that one's only a one side. Oh, it's only one side. Yeah. Dad. So that is the <laughs> Sith. That is the Sith infiltrator card uh, ship, and that is Wave Three um, report from the Crimson Core Tabletop That's Gaming right. Group. Um, we have been extremely excited about getting all this stuff going and yeah. playing around with it. So. Uh, this Thursday is going to be interesting to see. I know what he's going to be playing. He already knows what I'm going to be playing. So yeah, we um, will be filming a game, two of us against each other. Yeah, I, I think that'd be a good idea. Um, I will definitely be. We'll definitely fly a game against with the Republic and that. We also promised that um, on one of the videos we made, we also promised that we would do loadouts for the new factions when they come out, with along with the rest of the loadouts that we did. Oh, yeah. So, uh, stay tuned for that, because that's coming up as well. And yeah. yes, I will be doing a Separatist loadout as well. Maybe one. Um, maybe two. Maybe two, depending <laughs> on how I feel. But I will have a lot of... I will have a couple of them to talk about. And then, um, obviously, I'll have my, my uh, Republic ones already built, as I've got four of them already built. Um, I've been going kind of cuckoo with building them like crazy. I'm so. just looking forward to playing it. And don't forget, we, we never brought this up in the other videos, June 15th. Oh, that's right. We did. We have a Table Warriors event that's so happening out in Abbotsford. We finally have we finally have our Table Warriors event being released. I think this is a good actual video to release it on because this one's a little shorter than all the other ones. <laughs> um, we haven't rambled on too much on no, this one. No, because it's only one ship to really talk about. Um, and, it's, and it's awesome. Anyway. But June 15th. So June 15th, the following games have been released. Um, and on the 28th of March will be, um, you'll be able to start paying for registration fees. Yeah. Um, the games that are being released are Blood Bowl. There'll be 16 slots, um, open for Blood Bowl. 
If we are able to fit more, we will see, but I can't make any promises. Um, we got Flames of War. Flames happening. of War happening, which is 12. And yeah. if we do get more for that, um, I'm pretty sure we can probably open up another table or so if we yeah. need to get more for that. Yeah, Legions. Legion Legions is 24. a time trial, right? Isn't it? Time trial is a time yeah, trial. Yeah, that's one of the trials. So, there's only 16 stores across Canada who's got these events. And we have one happening at at our table warriors event so that's so fantastic we're having that um there and we've set that for 24 we've right? set that at 24 so uh, once we if, hit the if, 24 if we hit 24 i ha i do have it set up so we can expand it so that what would happen is the way it's set up at 24 is you play four rounds and then the top two play if we have enough interest that we need to take it over 24 what we're going to do is play five rounds which you have to do and then the top two will be playing the following Sunday, uh, the tournament at Nerd Haven. Nerd Haven will host the uh, the top two event, so the top two players can get a good sleep. We all meet up at Nerd Haven because I mean they got an awesome gaming room in the back. Meet up at Nerd Haven and they get to play their battle. And whoever wants to come out and watch it can come out and watch it. So we do have a backup plan if it does go past 24 players. And we also have X-Wing. we hope it does. <laughs> and X-Wing X -Wing has also been released. We've set that for 40 players. Um, I think that with the new factions and stuff, um, that we will it, be able to get a good attendance record right. with that. And we're going to um, have it to be open built. It's going to be, it is going to be extended. Yeah, it's going to um, be extended built. We've decided we were, I was looking at trying to make it more of a, a themed event and when I first decided to try to do this but um, see how this is our first time doing it um, and setting up the thing we just decided to go with a straight extended and let everybody have fun fly whatever they want do whatever yeah. they want so um, because everybody's been playing a lot of the hyperspace stuff late as of late I figured that you know it'd probably be good to that if people just be able to fly whatever they yeah, want just not, have any, want, have not any not have any restrictions um, so that's set for 40 people. Um, the event is being held at the Quality Inn here in Abbotsford. Yep, yeah, right by Castle Fun Park. By Castle Fun Park. Just off the freeway. Just off the freeway. Yeah, easy any, and very fine. accessibility. <laughs> very accessible to everybody to attend. Um, there is lots of restaurants and stuff around if you wanted yeah. to go out. But the rest, the hotel is giving us a concession to yeah. that, that as well, which the prices are extremely good. All of that information is on our website. Yeah, just Google so, Table Warriors GT. And right all that's in you. there. And um, Jared Zulu has been getting emails for that, so I have no idea what those emails are. So, um, <laughs> But um, all that being said and done, we are looking forward to June 15th. It's, it's going to be a blast. It's, it's going to be, be fun. Uh, we're working on prize support. Uh, we've got a couple of yeah, good things no, happening. So. Yeah, we'll have good prizing for this. Uh, if you watch, look for our Facebook page. Um, that's also there. So join that. Yeah. I think that's free to join. Yeah. No, go on the Facebook page. Hook up. We'll be posting up pictures of terrain and, and prizes and stuff as we go along. Uh, we've got Alex Martin involved and, and some other people as, as this goes further are coming in to, to make this a good time. So the idea is to, uh, we want a, a gaming event in the Fraser Valley. It's as simple as that. Yeah, I've been There's trying been... to get something like that going for a while since I've been attending events out in other areas of the um, BC area and into the States area. And one of the things that really was kind of interesting was like, what the heck, why don't we have one uh, out here in this area? So... Two of us put our heads together and decided yeah. to start getting it put together. And we have lots of big plans for this event to uh, participate. Um, my plans are a little bit more extravagantly bigger than <laughs> what he wants. Um, but um, I have, but, but we, it, we are working we on We are doing putting episode. together a good event. And this year it's so, going to be a one day event. Next year it will be a two day event. Uh, this is just, uh, we're getting our feet wet. Uh, we plan to, I mean, next year we plan to have more games, more options. We're working on artists to come in. We're working on uh, writers to come in. We're working on shops to come in. 
we want this to we want this to turn into a, a much bigger thing that includes to, more than just gaming. Awesome. Uh, so it we're work, we're working on it, and uh, we're looking forward to you, the community support because if there's one thing that BC is good at. In supporting any chance to play. <laughs> so um, we're looking forward to seeing what that is going to be, and we're looking forward to seeing any of you. With that being said, also remember we have our tabletop core, Crimson Core tabletop gaming website that has to um, be partaken as well, and uh, Facebook page. Keep messaging us, keep talking to us. Um, I know that we uh, haven't been posting any videos as of late, the last little while. But uh, we haven't left. We've got a lot of videos that are going to be released. Oh, yeah. probably the we're, next we're, not days, so. we're not going um, we're anywhere. We're looking forward to it. And we will be posting videos of the games uh, of the event. When the event goes off, we'll be going around and taking shots and puzzling pieces together. So there will be a video released for that particular event as well. Yeah. So I'm um, looking forward to seeing all you people that are out there. To come and join us for that uh, event on June 15th. Yeah, and get the word out there. Get Thank the word you. out. Check it out. You'll see it's a good time. Get the word out there. So And uh, yeah, let's uh, give the Fraser Valley something to look forward to. Yeah, let's, let's have some fun. Okay. So, all right. Have a good night. Wait, good night. Thanks. Wait, have a good, good night. night.